Welcome back, Focus Fanatics. In this video, I will be discussing Focus Alerts. Focus Alerts are used to send text messages to the selected recipients based on a set of requirements. Focus Alerts keep owners and managers updated in real time on what's going on at the restaurants. So let's just dive into setup so I can explain how Focus Alerts work. First thing we're going to do is going to go to Miscellaneous Alerts. And up to 100 alerts can be configured with five recipients each. Each alert is configured from one of the 11 available alert types. Within these alerts, there are two basic types of alerts, event-based alerts and time-based alerts. An example of an event-based alert would be the void alert. This alert sends a text message as soon as a void has occurred that is greater than the dollar amount specified in the threshold field. Time-based alerts are sent at this specified time if a certain set of requirements have been met. The three time-based alerts are the closed day, batch problem, and time card clock-in alerts. So now let's just go through setting up the alerts. The event-based alerts include voids, discounts, paid-outs, refunds, return items, variable price items, offline, and manager alerts. These alert types are set up within the same parameters with the offline and manager alerts being just a tad different. Once the alert's value threshold has been met, a text message will be sent. To set up an event-based alert, select one from the drop-down list, set it to active, input the threshold, and lastly, specify the recipient here. So let's go ahead and set up a sample void alert. We'll name it void. We'll say type is void. We can make it active. Our threshold, we will want to be notified of any voids that are higher than $4.99. We want to send it to Matt Kovo. Go ahead and put our phone number here. And save it. So we have had successfully created our void alert. Now you'll notice there are some other options over here. One of the first option we will look at is going to be our event based option, active time. Perhaps you only want to be notified of a void at a certain time of the day. You can just select your pre-configured time range that you want to be notified of the alert. In this scenario, I selected happy hour, so I will be only notified of voids that are in the happy hour, uh, happy hour time range. We have a couple more options over here. Uh, you can actually send out alerts to people that are only on the clock. An example of that is perhaps you want to send a mic manager an alert it, only if he's working. So basically all we have to do is select the on the clock option and then we select the employee from the drop down list. And these employees are filtered from the employee database that everybody needs in order to clock in and out with. And the last option we have over here is the job filter. Perhaps we want to send it out to all managers, regardless whether they're working or not. So all we have to do is select our job filter here, go down here. And so now we can successfully send out a void to all managers uh, without having to type in their names and their phone numbers over here. All right, so the next uh, alert we have that's going to be a little bit different is going to be our offline alert. And what the offline alert is used for is to send a text message when the credit card process has been set to offline. All you have to do is, is name the alert, make it active, and select whoever you want to send it to. Okay, so the next event based alert we have is going to be the manager alert. The manager alert is used to send text messages to the specified recipients. For example, let's say the host is working and cannot leave the host stand but needs to contact the manager on duty. They can simply use the manager alert to notify the manager that they need to speak with them and they can further customize the message that they want to send to the manager. If they enter the message in the text box right here, 
come to the host stand, that's what will be displayed in the manager alert. Optionally, if you'd like to have them enter a specific message, a custom message, you can just put a check mark in the enter message box and a keyboard will display so the host can enter a specific custom, uh, customized message for the manager. Alrighty, so let's move on down to time-based alerts. The first type of time-based alert will be the closed day problem. Go over here, we'll go ahead and select it. You can notice it changes up a little bit differently. The time field is where that uh, is the time that actual alert will be sent. If the the time base field here is is going to be where it's sent if close day has not occurred within x number of hours. You know, for example, let's say close day should process at 4 a.m. and you want to be alerted at 8 a.m. that has not closed a day. All you have to do is set the time field to 8 a.m. and that occurred within x hours to 4 a.m. This tells the system to send an alert if closed day has not ran successfully within the last four hours. The second time base alert is going to be the batch problem alert. And this alert works the same way as the closed day problem alert. All you have to do is set up the time to send the alert as well as the occurred within X hours. There are three different scenarios that will actually trigger this alert. The first way is if the credit card batch has not been processed within the specified number of hours, it will send the alert. The second way is if an error has occurred during batching. And the last way an alert will be sent is if the credit card processing is currently offline at the specified time. And the last time base alert we have is going to be our time card clock in alert. This alert sends a text message to the specified recipient if an employee has not clocked in by the specified time. For example, if your store opens at 8 a.m., you'd want to be alerted if nobody showed up to get your store ready to open. So if you set the time to 8 a.m. right here, and you set your clock in with an X number of hours to 1, then a text message will be sent to the recipients at 8 a.m. letting you know you need to make arrangements to get the store open. So that sums it up for the setting up the individual alerts. and We still have to actually set up the software to send the alerts. So let me show you how we do that. We go to miscellaneous, general, and we go to general once more. And there's a couple things we need to do. Each dealer will have a username and password to send alerts out and the center name. You need to set that so you know which store is actually sending it out. Perhaps you just put the restaurant name in there. And lastly, you need to make sure you have an event station configured so it knows to send out the alerts. Well, Focus Fanatics, there's Focus Alerts for you. And until next time, stay focused.